we're in. It took a while to get in, and masks are still required here. All right, let's explore around a little bit, see what all they have here. Look at those carrots. <laughs> wow. One of the things we're going to do here is we're going to see if we can find one of our favorite farmer's market vendors, Tunji. Let's see if we can find him. Can I see one of these? Checking out some hats here. Just hoping to find, hoping to find one that's a trucker style hat, sort of like what I'm wearing. But apparently they're out of those ones. So I have to revisit. Peonies, twenty dollars. Looks like cherries are in season. Check out these cherries. How much are you guys' cherries? Five dollars a pound. That's that one. These are one pound, you said? These are two pounds. Two pounds, okay. Um, I'd like to buy uh, that, please. Twelve dollars. Actually, what I wanted were the Rainier cherries. These guys right here. Come, this is more yellow. This is Rainier. Looks delicious. See, those are Rose Rainier. Oh, this is Rose Rainier. That's more tart. Which one's more sweeter? This is this is Rose Rainier. More sweeter. I think I wanted these, man. Sorry, I don't know my cherries, so I learned something. There's two different so kinds. These are more yellow, right? Can you educate me a little bit? These are the regular Rainier cherries? Yeah. Okay, and then these are... Thank you. So what's the difference as far as like flavor and stuff? Uh, these are more tart. These are more tart, yeah, I don't want tart. So regular, the regular ones. And they have more red to it. That's why it's called Rose. Uh, awesome. uh, maybe two pounds? Where, where are the um, cherries Those from? Uh, sunny side, all right. Oh. Beautiful. I have been to Sunny Side, not in a long time. Hot over there. Oh yeah, it's more. more it, <laughs> lots of sunshine over there. That's why, hence Sunny Side, right? Nothing for the Sunny Side. Awesome. A lot of cherry farm there. You guys sell uh, at different farmers markets or just this yes. one? No. Different, different. ones, right? Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Uh, I like this one and the um, the short line. That's the the short one. Line. Short what line. day short line? Short line is Saturday. Oh, uh, you know, I'm gonna have check to check out, out that one. Yeah, we're over there on Saturdays. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. This is probably bigger, right? Oh, this one, yeah. Like more here. I hear I hear that a lot from vendors that the Ballard one is their favorite. Um, yeah, the so favorite market. Kind of small. It's a big. Yeah. It's a big. It's a big market. So, Tunji. Tunji, the guy, the vendor that we're trying to find. This is also his favorite um, farmer's market. So this is what uh, $12 of deliciousness looks like. Cherries from Sunnyside, Washington. <laughs> oh, it's still going on. Look at that. So I learned something. Really? Two different kinds of um, rainier cherries. Those versus these. We'll give it a try right now. Mm. So good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Taste some. Take the bag, honey. We should go pick cherries um, someday. Plan a cherry picking trip. There's a lot of cherry farms in Washington State. Most of them are in eastern Washington. Sunnyside, Yakima, even the Wenatchee area, east of the Cascade. So, cherry, rainier cherries are my favorite. So sweet. I'm trying to find some for my father for Father's Day and I think I am going to maybe buy some honey for him. Check it out. If it's organic, I will. Is, is your honey organic? That's a great question. So in the United States, <laughs> you're not supposed to say the word organic. Oh! Because we have genetically modified plants in this country. Okay. So I can't actually guarantee that no bee ever lands uh, on a genetically modified plant. Now that being said, I go to great lengths to find neighborhoods that do not traditionally plant genetically modified crops or what abstain from using pesticides because bees only fly within three miles. Okay. So I can kind of, I can get as organic as I possibly can for the United States. Okay, so um, I'm ready to buy some honey from you. <laughs> Try the raspberry in a small for my father and buying a whole bunch of him. Or buying a whole bunch of him. Buying, <laughs> buying a whole bunch of different things for him. Today. And next time, come yeah. back and get him the, the blackberry one okay. uh, next time. Because we have wild blackberries on every corner in Washington State. Oh. So it's kind of like Washington staple. 
You know what I mean? I you feel like I should just get that then. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Sorry I mean, about that. No, it's fine. It's fine. And you know, and so Washington <laughs> State produces the most amount of uh, blueberries and raspberries. Right. So it's not that that isn't a Washington staple. This is just a wild Washington staple. I'm gonna buy both. <laughs> Keep it simple. You can't go wrong yeah, with both. There both. you go. Yeah. Very good. Okay, let me get you all squared all away right, here. Is that your credit card today? Yep. I decided to go with both flavors. Blackberry and straw uh, and, and raspberry. Maybe give one or both to my father for Father's Day. <laughs> told me to put my mask back on over there, so I had to do that. So, uh, yeah. I'm trying to follow the rules. Well, I have honey, but I have not been able to find Tunji. I don't know where Tunji is. I would love to find him. So we're at Marvin's Garden, and this is a good place to chill and eat your food. I'm sort of looking for Tunji. So far, I have not found Tunji yet. And I don't know if I'll find him. If I don't, that's okay. I will just have to find him at the farmer's market next Wednesday. All right, I'm gonna go get lunch at this restaurant down the street, outside of the market. And the girls are already there, so we're gonna join them. And Enjoy a good lunch. I love Sundays, mellow. People are enjoying themselves. Lots of uh, outdoor dining happening right now. Seattle summers are the best. I love seeing people being outside and enjoying themselves. All right. We're now at Market Street. All sorts of restaurants here. It's a noodle bar. Hey, you're go check that place out. I love noodles, especially uh, noodle soup. Man, it is popping in Ballard. A lot of people out and about. Seattle Divorce Services, just in case, you know. All right, here we take the left. So this is Hood Famous. They have a location in Chinatown, but I think this is where they um, do a lot of their baking, I believe. Seattle rapper Gio and his wife, they're the owners of this place. Acedero, take reservation only, so they're going to come here, I guess. Okay, so Acedero is not going to work out. Reservation only, super busy, so... I think we're gonna have to check out one of the restaurants back there, like Sen Noodle House. It's busy, Ballard's busy, especially on Sunday, because that's when the farmer's market is. Right, we liked and chose that. Okay, oh, awesome. Okay. Two thumbs up. I couldn't tell you where it was, but it was good. You might have to ask the owner. <laughs> They're saying some they very positive things about this <laughs> restaurant, so that's reassuring. Is it good? Yeah, it's the right up right there. I was just reading that, so it oh, says okay. that they also hold it. Oh, okay. So I think Castle Rock is first and then this. And this, this might be more first? like street food maybe. Okay. That might be more... I haven't... I've, yeah, I've only been here once and that was today and then I've never done that one. Well, I see, a, I see their post on Seattle Times. What did you order from this so, place, uh, if you don't mind? So, we kind of did like a family style and oh. so we ate, kind of ate a lot. I, I love <laughs> lemongrass. So I, I did do, a lemongrass. I do too, actually. Okay, so I did a lemongrass tofu okay. noodle thing. Okay. Um, but you can have like Awesome. Whatever kind of awesome. you want. And then, wow. Um, yeah, I mean, there's their whole. Oh, we did a lamb thing. Uh -huh. He said this one was a real popular one, so we did that one that too. One. Okay. Um, this. Let's see. Monk's oh, noodles. Okay. Let's see. Where's the the lamb fried curry fried? He also recommended. Mm. Um, gluten free GF, right? That means gluten free. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, right? yeah. Uh -huh. okay, awesome. Well, they even have sticky, um, sweet sticky. Yeah. Oh, I had that. It was so. You? I, love I love that. My wife sticky. and I love that. Yes, We're gonna I have to love that. sticky <laughs> rice with mango. That was so delicious. Um, so we okay. split. We split that in the end. What else did we try? Wow, you tried a lot of different yeah, things. That's did, awesome. We did. So, uh, there's, uh, where's the lemongrass curry noodle? That's what I had. That right there. Yeah. All right. That was pretty good. It was spicy. I have to try that. Yeah. Awesome. But, yeah, I mean, you should look at 
this many too, it might just be less yeah. sweet. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Really nice uh, woman there, giving us all sorts of good information about these two restaurants. This restaurant is owned by the same folks that own that restaurant. This came first, that came after. That one there has more of a street food vibe, she was saying, and I think we're gonna eat there, but we'll have to wait until the ladies come back to see what they think. All right, I think I'm going to get a noodle soup dish, and it's going to be a toss-up between the boat noodle soup and the guai chup. I love both. I think I'm gonna add a boiled egg, which is two additional dollars, which will make it a $17 boat noodle soup. What do you think of the guai chup? Not too bad. Don't lie now, be honest. Good flavor. Not as good as a uh, new donation, but not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Sounds like Sim prefers the new donation quite a better. How about you? New donation. Oh, noodle. Oh, look at that. This is what a $17 bowl of noodle looks like here in Ballard, y'all. It's all about the broth. So boat noodle is, it's like, it's noodle soup, rice noodle soup, but um, the way I see it is, it's sort of like Thailand's, Thailand's pho, or Thailand's uh, answer to Vietnam's pho. Check out the broth and the noodles. Mm, vegetables. All right. It's all about the broth. Chopsticks don't match. <laughs> kind of cute. All right, let's taste the broth. Mm. By the way, never, never, ever do this with your chopsticks because this symbolizes death. So never, don't do that ever. Etiquette 101. <laughs> All right, let me taste the broth. Here we go. It's good, but my favorite boat noodle place is the greatest Thai restaurant in Canada. That's still my favorite. This is pretty good though. Alright, gonna enjoy lunch. See you later, bye.